Assalamu alaikum. My lovely energetic students, I'm your teacher, Ms. Shahina Paris from Nana Yaqat Ali Khan, Garmin College of Home Economics, Karachi. Today, I am conducting my second lecture topic, Retailing and Wholesaling, for the students of BS5 under the subject Marketing and Merchandising, code number 513.1. Dear students, hope these lectures will help you out in the lockdown due to COVID-19. Still need any improvement? Kindly give me your valuable comments and suggestions. Please stay home and stay safe. Let us start a lecture. Let's start a lecture. What is wholesale basically? Wholesale refers to the selling of goods to the customers like retailers, industries and others in bulk at low price. It's a type of business in which goods are being purchased from producers by wholesalers in big lots and then bulk is split into small lots. Finally, they are repacked and resold to other parties. Wholesaler do not pay much attention to the location of shop and its appearance and display of goods because they sell only a specific type of items and their customers are generally retailers or other businesses who purchase the goods for the purpose of just resale. These things do not matter to them at all. In wholesale business, the wholesaler gives more emphasis on the quantity of goods, not on quality. The price of purchased on wholesale is lower as it consists of less profit margin. Let's shift to the topic, what actually retail is. It means selling goods in small lots when goods are sold to the final customer for consumption and not for the purpose of resale in small quantities. Then this business is known as retail. Retailers are middlemen between wholesalers and customers. They purchase goods from wholesalers in bulk and sells to ultimate consumer in small lots. The price of goods purchased in retail are relatively high. The first and foremost reason behind this is the advertisement. Cost and profit margin is relatively very much high. Moreover, they include other expenses in the price of goods on a proportionate basis like rent of premises, salary to workers, electricity expenses, overheads, etc. Due to extreme competition, it's quite difficult to retain customers for a long time, so the retailers should know the techniques of handling different kinds of customers. In this way, Shop location, the appearance of the shop, goods displayed, quality of products, services provided is given much importance because it leaves an impact of impression on customers' mind for a long period of time. Let's discuss wholesaling. Actually, wholesaling is a buying handling of products and services and the subsequent resale to institutional users and in some cases to final customers. What is retailing? It's a distribution process in which all the activities involved in selling the merchandise directly to final customers. Any business entity which sells goods to the end user and not for business use or for resale, whether it's a manufacturer, wholesaler, or retailer are said to be engaged in the process of retailing. Let's have a look at comparison chart which covers the complete detail of wholesale and retail that we have discussed. It contains what is wholesale and retail, its price competition, volume, requirement, deals in, area of operation, art of selling and at the end need for advertisement. You can see all in this chart. 
The next topic we'll discuss here are types of retailing. There are three types of retailing, store retailing, non-store retailing and corporate retailing. First, we'll discuss store retailing. And in store retailing, number A is department store. Department store is the best form of store retailing to attract a number of customers. B, the other type of store retailing includes specialty store, supermarket, convenience store, catalog, drug store, super store, discount store, etc. The second type of retailing we'll discuss here is non-store retailing. It's evident from name itself that when the selling of merchandise takes place outside the conventional shops or stores, it's termed as non-store retailing. It's classified as direct marketing and direct selling. First, we'll discuss here direct marketing. Direct marketing in this process, consumer direct channels are employed by company to reach and deliver products to customers. It includes direct mail marketing, catalog marketing, telemarketing, and online shopping. Direct selling, otherwise called as multiple selling and network selling that involves door-to-door -door selling or at home sales parties. Here in this process, the salesperson of company visit the home of host who has invited the salesperson where he demonstrates the product and take orders. The third and the last type of retailing we'll discuss here is corporate retailing. It includes Retail organizations such as corporate chain store, franchise, retailers, and consumer cooperatives. Example, Pizza Hut, McDonald's, Subway, Gap, Ideas, etc. Manufacturer versus wholesaler versus retailer. We'll discuss here. Getting any product from manufacturer to purchase by a consumer involves a supply chain. The distributor is the manufacturer's direct point of contact for prospective buyers of certain products. Wholesalers buy a large quality of products directly from distributors. Retailers buy small quantities of an item from a distributor or a wholesaler. Here we also discuss Top Wholesale Suppliers in Pakistan We'll discuss five wholesale suppliers named OLX, Showplus, Shopping Bag, Bolton Market and A-House. First, we'll discuss OLX. OLX was co-founded in 2006 by Fabrice Grenda and Alec. Basically, they wanted to create a secure platform, secure area for trade featuring, no costs for users. This site has seen major success in past years in Pakistan. It covers a wide range of products like automobiles, household clothes, cell phones, accessories, etc. The second one is Show Plus. It's the largest consumer electronics wholesale online marketplace in Pakistan. It covers one-step solution for retailers to improve their business. The third we'll discuss here named Shopping Bag. Everybody wants to buy USA products in Pakistan, but import or buy US products was not easy in past days. But nowadays, with shopping bag PK, it becomes very easy to buy US products, especially Amazon, eBay, etc. Bolton Market. Now you can buy and sell products online at wholesale rate. No need to go to market now. Let's discuss top retailers in Pakistan. Here we'll discuss 
top retailers as Outfitters, J. Dot, Gulamat, Alkaram, Nishad Lennon, etc. First, we'll discuss Outfitters, an extension of Outfitters dedicated to bring you ultimate sophistication and elegance in the form of fashion clothing. Alkaram, buy women clothing online, shop branded men, women dresses and fashion accessories online. On third, we'll discuss the renowned retailer in Pakistan named Gulamat. Gulamat is the name of reliability, essence of tradition, threads of perfection, and colors of imagination. We'll also discuss J. Dot, also called Junaid Jamshed. J. Dot Pakistan and global online store. Shop online for latest trends of women, unstitched kurtis, stitched suits, men's shalwar kameez, perfumes, etc. At the end, we'll discuss Nishat Lennon. Nishat Lennon was born to cater to the demand for high quality product at affordable prices. Let me conclude this chapter, wholesaling and retailing as... Whenever a product is produced, it doesn't come directly. There are so many hands through which a product passes. And finally, we get it from the retail shopkeeper. In wholesale, mild competition can be seen. But in retail, there's cutthroat competition. So it's very tough to retain and regain customers. There. Thank you. Hope. This lecture is useful to you. See you soon. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.